Hi, I'm Shan Garcia with Shock Socks, the 10 second removable fork seal protector. Appreciate you checking out Tucker Rocky TV. We're at Tucker Rocky here today to show you the demonstration of easy installation and removal of Shock Socks. If you're not familiar with Shock Socks, basically they're a removable fork seal protector. It takes about 10 seconds to put them on, 10 seconds to take off. They have a three Velcro tab system. Easy on, easy op application, as I said. We're here with Aaron Smith's AMA, past AMA National number 253 bike. He has been a sponsored rider of Shock Socks for the past six and a half years, nearly seven years, has not had one single blown fork seal. With that, we'll jump into the demonstration. Once you get a pair of Shock Socks from your local dealership, basically you wanna open them up. They've got three Velcro tabs here. We're gonna undo the Velcro tabs. I'm gonna go pretty slow to show you the easy installation application here. Wrap the Shock Socks in. This is what I recommend coming in from the front of the fork. Wrap it around. Take the Velcro middle tab and you want to put that secure it around the dust seal area. Secure it to the Velcro patch. Come down here and secure the bottom tab. Now I'm going to rewind real quick and show you guys something of very importance. Usually on, a, on bikes there's either a metal or plastic fork guard guide ring that's sitting right here on the dust seal area. You want to take a flathead or a needle nose screw, a uh, flathead screwdriver or needle nose pliers and remove that, uh, that guide ring. Once you remove the guide ring, secure the shock socks on, overlap the top with the elastic top circumferential strap, rotate the shock socks around where the logo is facing out. However, sometimes if you put a brand new front tire on the front tire, the sidewall nipples can score into the Velcro tabs. If they do, that'll tear the, the tabs and the shock socks will become useless. So you want to rotate the tabs around to where the tabs are in the back of the fork, not interfering with the tire nipple, uh, the tire knobbies, the nipples on the knobbies, so to speak. And that is basically how you install a set of shock socks to remove them. You just basically come back around, rotate around, pull the tabs off, and remove the shock socks. Power wash your bike separately. Wash the shock socks. You can hand wash the shock socks in warm soapy water or a garden hose. Let them dry. Install them right back on. You're good to go with uh, very minimal dust or dirt or anything interfering with the dust seal area. A lot of guys will run a whole shot device on their motocross bike and basically to get around the whole shot device with a pair of shock socks, you wrap the shock socks around the fork tube like I demonstrated earlier. Then you take a utility knife or a razor blade and simply score a single little slit where the whole shot device catch is. That'll, that slit right there will allow the whole shot device pin on the lower fork tube to engage into the whole shot device and that is basically how you uh, install a set of shock socks with the whole shot device. Simply a little slit, that is all. And that's it, 10 seconds, all it takes. Thank you for checking out our installation video. You can check us out at shocksocks.com for all the colors. We have seven different colors. We have vintage shock socks for conventional bikes. We have 13 inch shock socks. We have of course your regular six inch modern shock socks for modern forks. 4U for upside down forks and 4C for four inch conventional forks for all your little pit bikes and whatnot. If you wanna know anything else about shock socks, you can check us out at shocksocks.com. Shock Socks are distributed by Tucker Rocky nationwide at various motorcycle dealerships across the nation. You can get with your local Tucker Rocky rep. This is Shan Garcia with Shock Socks telling you to keep those fork seals clean.